Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aquarius Love Prediction reading for June 18th through June 24th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. With my lovable, kind, sweet, caring friendly fun Aquarius says, show me spirit guides what's going on my aquas let's see show me spirit guides what's going on my Aquarius says? page of wands the strength card the star She's showing up in your reading. Queen of Wands. Oh, and the sun. Ooh, we. So, with this reading, I see, first and foremost, you're very passionate about this person. You're passionate about um, a lot of things, um, Aquarius. You know, it could be a lot of things that you deal with that you have passion about. But uh, when it comes to this uh, person, this person that's in your, your love space, you're passionate about it because you, you and this person, for, I see, like to do the same things. You like to learn. You like to explore. You like to, and that's, this is a card of, the page of wands for me, is, and it's very passionate. It's about exploring. It's about doing things. Um, it's about learning new things. You enjoy this person because they are a lot like you. Um, in fact, I kind of think they mirror you a little bit because this page of wands here, this person um, you're passionate about, you guys do things together. You enjoy life together. Um, I also see the strength card, which um, represents the Leo sun sign, but uh, can be anyone. Remember, this is a general read, but um, this uh, strength card here means that uh, this person's a little wild, and I'm going to be very honest with you. They're kind of out there. They kind of do their own thing. Like I said, they have some of your ways. In fact, I kind of think, and I look at this, I think they mirror you. Um, that's what turns you on about them. Because they are a lot like you. You guys love to explore. You love to do things. Um, you're both kind of wilding out sometimes. Sometimes you're both out there. But the strength card means more than anything. You just want them to be on the same page with you. And when I say the same page, you want them to um, understand that you do love them. That you want to be with them. That it is... It's okay to be out there and doing your thing, but you want more. And when I say you want more, you want them to come in. You want to form a relationship with them. Because right now, I don't see a relationship. I do see um, where there may have been a situation -ship. I'm just being honest. There may have been a situation -ship. And when I say that, um, you know, normally you're the one that uh, cannot be tied down. But for this particular person, you want them to be with you. You want them to understand what you want. Um, and I see the star card. You adore this person. I'm just going to be very honest. You adore this person. You adore this person. Um, this person um, with the star card here, um, you're, you're wishing, you're hoping, you're dreaming um, that you can be with this person. There's a lot of hope here. And like I said, I don't think you're a relationship yet. I really don't. I think that this was a situation -ship. Not saying that you guys have not been intimate because I believe you have. But I think this was, is a situation -ship that you're trying to evolve into a relationship. Um, and like I said, this person mirrors you. I see the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands is always my wifey card. And I think you see this person, see you and this person as you being their wife. 
I really see that. I see that you've already seen in your head that you can be their wife. And you know, that's this is a, a deep read for you, Aquarius, because you're normally the one that's kind of flighty, that's kind of out there, that kind of, you know, does what they want to do. But this person somehow and I, has, has reeled you in. And the reason I think they have um, done that or how they've done that is because they're a lot like you. They mirror you. I almost see, you know, I, I don't know, a um, soulmate um, reading, a soulmate um, person. Um, but this person has, has brought you in. This person has, has, um, you know how they say, you're just feeling them. I don't even know what to say. This situation ship is going into love. This situation ship was just, um, friendship, um, having a good time, a situation ship, um, getting together every now and then, wink, wink, you know what I mean, intimately, but it has grown into love and you are in love with this person. This sun card is here. You, I mean, you just have big fun with this person. The sun card is here. You just have big fun with them. Uh, when, when you see the sun card, it's just like whenever you're with them, you feel like a teenager again. You feel like that you're just you're just rainbows and unicorns. And I say this all the time when I see the sun card. It's just sunshine and light. Um, no darkness. This is just a person that reminds you of you and you have fallen in love with them and you want to be wifey. Now, I don't know if you're going to get them to come in uh, or for, to build a relationship, I guess I should say. But I'm going to see if you give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify this reading for you. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what the spirit guys will want to tell us about additional information about this relationship. Um, just sit back, relax, give me three to five minutes. Why is this page of wands here? Show me. Spirit, guys, why is a page of wands here? Oh, ace of pentacles. Look at this. An ace of pentacles. Not only that, this person, you, you and this person together uh, is very stable, can be very stable. Also, um, there's money here. There's an opportunity. Like I said, you and this person, you connect. This is a connection. This was a situation ship, but it's a connection now. It's beyond just uh, getting together and having fun and passionate love making, and it's beyond that now. It's deeper. It's, it's in your mind. It's it's in your heart space. You're in love with this person. So let's see. Why is the strength card here? Show me, spirit guides. Oh, I have the chariot card, which is the can represent Cancer sun sign. Can represent a Cancer sun sign, but the chariot card also means. That this is a, a something that's destined to be. This is something that's destined to be because chariot card is as above as the universe, so below. So whatever is happening, whatever is going down, whatever you are dreaming of, whatever you are thinking of, this is a relationship that is going is meant to be. This relationship is meant to be, and you're determined. You're determined here. You're determined to make this relationship. With this strength card here, you are determined to have this relationship with this person. You are going from like this. There's a connection here, a deep connection. So let's see why the star card is here, which is your card, which represents the core of your sun sign. Show me, spirit guys. Keep in mind, this could be a Leo as well because the strength card is there. But this is the star, the star card, which is... The Aquarius sun sign. Let's see. Show me spirit guides. Oh, wow. Three of pentacles. I told you and this person, there is a connection uh, from a situation ship to a connection. You have fallen in love with this person. This star card is here. Teamwork. Teamwork makes your dream work. Hey, this is, and I told you, here he is with the star, uh, which is uh, wishing and you adore this person because they are a lot like you as well. You connect. So let's see. Show me why the Queen of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh, I see the Five of Cups. What has happened? Something's happened here. Five of Cups being feeling remorseful, regretful, depressed, down. And it's over the Queen of Wands. It's over the Queen of Wands. Um, I don't know. We're going to keep reading. I don't know. Perhaps... You want to be wifey, but they're not in yet. They're not looking for that. So let's see why the sun card is here. Let's see. Let's see why the sun card is here. Oh, I see the um, four swords. Well, Aquarius, I'm going to be very honest with you. They make you happy. I think you should be patient. 
I think you should pa be patient and just wait there with them. Because right now, they're not looking to be married. They're not looking to be in a relationship, I think, as well. You are, but they aren't. Um, you're also looking, you see them, you see yourself as being their wife. They're not looking for that right now. They're, 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 they're just enjoying life and enjoying you. So I'm going to be very honest with you. I think you should just pull back, enjoy the ride, know what you're dealing with. That's if you want to, but right now there's a breakup going on. There's a breakup. There's a breakup and I think that it was just a little bit too much. I'm just telling you exactly. Because this got really deep really quick. You went from a situation ship. This person is very it got deep really, really quick. Let's start at the beginning. This is a very passionate person, a very passionate re, um relationship. It was a situation. It never was a relationship yet. But this page of wands um is someone that likes to explore a lot of different things and they explore a lot of different things. There's also a new uh, money here, stability. You see stability here. There's money. There's can be a generous relationship. Here's a strength card here too. Could, can be a Leo person and a, um that you are dealing with as well. But this strength card means that all you're trying to do is get them to come in to be with you. They're a little bit on the wild side. They're kind of doing their own thing, especially next to this page of wands. But you enjoy that as well. But see, you want them in a relationship because the chariot is here. The chariot is here. That means you're determined. Chariot can represent the cancer sun sign. But the chariot card means as above, so below. So whatever you're dreaming, wishing for, go for it. Go for it. But here's a star card here too. You adore this person. You know, we always want what we can't have. And I'll say that again. That's even more. But you adore this person. And here's the three of pentacles. You feel like a team with them. Teamwork makes your dream work. Whenever you guys get together, you know how to make money with them. There's a lot of different things. You have the same mindset. There's the queen of wands there. And the queen of wands is all about you. Hey, you wanted to be their wifey. But guess what? They're not ready for that. They're simply not ready for that. They, they enjoy you as you are. But they're not ready for that. The sun card is, is that you just... Just going down this reading, it's just like, hey, they're just not ready, but they still love you as well. Or and I, But here, they're, it's deep. And I think this got deep quickly. So I think you should pull back and just go with it. And there's a, a, a they pull back. There's a little bit of a break going on here because they've pulled back because it's over. it has been overwhelming to them. So let's see. I think you should sit back and relax. Just sit back and relax. Take the break. Hey, you can't make someone want to be with you. They do want to be with you, but they don't want to have a relationship. So let's see. Show me. And see, I said sit back and relax. And that's what my oracles are saying. Big happy changes are coming. They love you. They love you. Big happy changes are coming. So I think you just sit back, relax, take the break. Don't push it. Let them be them. And I think that this relationship is going to turn into...